Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Foodie Fridays. This Friday, we're cooking up spinach dip pork chops. Now, what I love about this recipe is that you can switch out the protein to whatever you like or whatever you have on hand. This would be delicious over chicken. Heck, it would be awesome over some steaks. I plan on making this spinach dip portion on the side by itself and dipping it with some pork rinds for an awesome keto snack. So the possibilities are endless. Let's get to cooking. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Ingredients you're going to need, I'm using a pound of thin sliced pork chops. These are boneless. Again, you can use whatever protein. This is the bird's eye frozen chopped spinach. So just a package of chopped spinach. You're going to need a fourth of a cup of bacon crumbles, one block of cream cheese, half a cup of Parmesan shredded cheese, onion powder. I'm going in with half a teaspoon, a fourth a teaspoon of salt. I love Redmond's one tablespoon of minced garlic, and then one teaspoon of 21 seasoning salute by Trader Joe's, but you can use whatever seasoning you have on hand. So in a avocado sprayed pan, this is a nine by nine, I'm gonna go ahead and lay my pork chops out. In a bowl, I'm gonna put my softened block of cream cheese, that's one block in my bowl. I recommend using a bigger bowl, I always do that. Here we go with our half of a cup of my shredded Parmesan cheese, a fourth of a cup of my bacon crumbles are going in as well one tablespoon of minced garlic going in. Then we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I love the Redmond's. And then we're gonna go in with that 21 seasoning salute, one teaspoon. If you have any other type of spice you'd like to use, go ahead and use it. We're gonna give this a good stir. You wanna make sure that's all incorporated. I put my spinach in the microwave and then I drained off all the water in a towel, as you can see, so we don't have a ton of water because it will create a lot. And we want to make sure that is really all together nicely. We don't want to leave any just plain cream cheese parts. Now I will give you a recommendation. Next time I make this, I'm going to put half of the mixture on the bottom and the other half on the top. So that way the bottom gets coated with this and that it really absorbs all that flavor. I wish I would have done that, but this time, this is the first time I made it and I just put it all on the top. It was still delicious, but like I said, next time I'm just gonna do half and half and see if that helps the flavor profile. I am covering mine with some aluminum foil and then I'm gonna put it in a preheated oven at 475 degrees and we're gonna bake mine for 15 minutes since they are boneless and they're pretty thin sliced. But whatever protein you have, guys, just keep checking it, especially if you're doing chicken or something different, you might need more or less time depending on what the protein is. So definitely keep that in mind and just check in and make sure it's cooked thoroughly. So this is what it looks like after the 15 minutes. I wanted the top to be a little bit more golden broiled, if that makes sense. So as you can see, I put it in the broiler and it did give it a nice little golden top in here. And it was absolutely delicious, guys. The flavor profile on this was so good. The hubs loved it. Like I said, the spin dip part was so good that I plan on just making it by itself and dipping it with some pork rinds or some cucumber slices for a really awesome low carb keto snack. That's going to be really great in my arsenal. And this, this is the hubs dinner with the side salad first. And then I just served mine with the whole avocado with everything but the bagel seasoning on it. I really enjoy just doing that instead of doing a salad sometimes. And that is it. Macros are on point for this guy. So one serving, so a whole serving is going to be one but out of four is what I'm calculating here. So one serving is going to be 34 grams of fat. This is with pork chops, 495 calories, 40 grams of protein, and only three net carbs. And you're getting your carbs essentially from the spinach and the cream cheese. And that's it, y'all. So good. So great. It will fit into your macros it will fit into your flavor profile. You're gonna love it. So definitely try it and let me know how you like it. If you do try it, make sure to take a picture of it, put it in your stories on Instagram, tag me so I can reshare and let me know your thoughts on it, any tweaks that you did. I love seeing how y'all change up the recipes because it gives me ideas to change them up for me to try next time. So I love when y'all do that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. That helps the video so much. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you part of the fam. So make sure you click all the bells and whistles down below so you never miss a future upload from me. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing Friday. I hope you're cooking some delicious food this weekend. And if this is on the menu, don't forget to share it and let me know. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.